Welcome, on this video we're going to be talking about soil texture. So our soil's texture is made up of various proportions of sand, silt and clay. Often you'll see your texture reading on your soil test. Um, it could be, for example, a silty clay, a sandy clay. So this diagram here gives you a bit of an idea of where your soil may sit in terms of texture. Um, so silty clays may sit in the top of the triangle, whereas a sandy clay might sit towards the bottom down here. A sandy soil has large soil particles, um, so it'll be prone to losses and probably won't have a great water holding capacity. Um, whereas a soil with a lot of clay particles, the particles are a lot smaller. So generally it has a greater water holding capacity and a greater capacity to hold on to nutrients. However, these soils can be prone to waterlogging. Um, silty soils sit somewhere in between with a medium sized soil particle. Um, so on our soil test, you will get back a texture reading. Um, so this is obviously done in the lab, um, but if you wanna do a basic um, soil texture test in the field, you can do a ribbon test. Uh, we might use this test to compare blocks um, and see how these blocks need to be managed differently, whether a block has higher sand um, and needs to be managed accordingly or a higher clay content um, and needs to be managed. So we'll go into that demo now. So now we're gonna go through a basic um, texture test for in the field, so a ribbon test. Um, so for this test, you'll just need some soil and some water. Um, so to start off with, grab a handful of soil um, and we wanna wet it up until it's can be formed into a ball in your hand. Um, and while you're mixing the soil in your hand, you can feel, I guess, the sand, the clay, um, how slippery it is. Um, and then once you've got a sticky or tacky ball, you wanna press it out between your fingers and form a ribbon. Um, generally, the longer ribbon you have, the higher clay content in your soil. Um, so you can compare two blocks against each other and see um, which soil type um, does form a longer ribbon. So this soil feels particularly sandy. Um, you can feel the grains of sand between your fingertips. Um, however, it does have a little bit of a clay content. You can feel it's a little bit tacky, um, but there is a lot of sand in there. Um, so now we've got a fairly sticky, tacky ball of soil. Um, so to start creating our ribbon, we just need to press the soil out between our thumb and as we press it out and start making a ribbon you can feel it's a fair bit of sand um, and once the ribbon does break off which will probably be pretty soon so it's fairly sandy like that we can see we didn't get too far so it's a fairly sandy soil and with just only a short um, ribbon so this soil it's got a fairly high sand content but we can tell there is a little bit of clay um, if it was more sandy, our ribbon would have broken off a lot sooner, maybe um, about one centimetre. Whereas a soil with a higher clay content, you might get a ribbon out to five or six centimetres. Um, and if you do want to have a look online, there's lots of tables um, that will give you an indication um, determining your ribbon length and how it determines what texture you have occurring in your block. 